Hey everyone, Sarah here. Uh, today should be a pretty interesting stream. Um, this is a new lesson plan for me. So it's a little bit of an adventure for both of us. Um, let's see, let's go over supplies. And oh, I do want to mention, so normally I have a reference photo up in uh, the Discord channel, hold on, right there my discord server art share is um that's where i put reference photos on the day that i stream and it's also where you can upload photos like if you follow along with me or if you have your own artwork that you would like to um share with the group that is where you can do it uh so i encourage you to join anybody can join But today I had a problem with uploading the reference photo. For some reason it's not working. And so uh, we're just gonna be kind of winging it today. So you're gonna be following along with me. I appreciate your patience. All right, so let's go over the supplies. First, we've got our paints. So I've got a red, yellow, and blue, and then a white and a brown. Now I specifically use Naphthol Crimson uh, thalo blue or thalo cyanine blue, cadmium yellow medium, burnt umber, and titanium white. All right. If you want to use this kind of paint, you can, but it doesn't dry very well. This is called craft paint. So it is technically acrylic, but it's a different kind of acrylic paint. These are thicker paints than this. So this is gonna take a long time to dry and they're much harder to mix. So I recommend um, getting some inexpensive paints that are in these colors. Um, sometimes you can find little sets of them, like little, little sets of tubes. But as long as you have a red, yellow, and a blue, your primary subtractive colors, uh, sometimes known as RGB, and a brown and a white, and we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna put my paints to the side. Let's talk about our other supplies. So you will need a couple of brushes. I've got a filbert here. This is probably about a 10 or a 12 filbert. Um, it's also a three quarter wash brush is the other name for it. All filbert means is that it's a flat brush that's been rounded at the top. This is a six round and it's called round because it's got that little point at the top. So those are the two brushes we'll be using. I've got a palette knife to mix my paints with. I've got a palette for the paints. And I've got, um, let me adjust this just slightly. There we go. Um, I've got a canvas that we are going to be using in the horizontal, uh, or landscape orientation. So the alternative would be portrait, the, like the vertical up and down, but we're gonna be doing landscape today. So this is a continuation of yesterday's stream, which was about cylinders. Um, if you caught that stream, I, I went over the um, how to make a cylinder, a cylindrical object look 3D by shading. So, all right, one more thing that I need, um, by the way, also paper towels are handy, but I'm going to get an apron. So hang on just a minute. Because acrylic paints are pretty messy. Uh, And unfortunately, they don't come all off of clothing. There we go. So yeah, acrylic paints do not come out of clothing. So um, if you would like to protect your clothing, I happen to like the dress that I'm wearing, so I am going to be wearing this apron. I, I would recommend that you do that. All right. So let's go ahead and get started.
first things first, we are going to use our burnt umber. That's the brown. Just letting you guys know, today is going to be a very relaxing, easygoing pace. I'm not going to rush too much. We're just going to have fun here today. All right. So now my burnt umber, um, I'm going to paint the top of the canvas with this, about the top third of the canvas. We need to get our brush wet first, and I've talked about this before, but the way you get your brush wet, when you push it down to the bottom, actually push it down as if you were painting the bottom. And this will get any kind of air. See the bubbles coming up? It's getting the air bubbles out of that. All right. And then we'll just kind of wipe it on the side of the cup. All right. So I've got water on my brush, which means that if I just dip my brush directly in the paint, it's going to be very watery when I put it on my canvas. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull some paint to the side and so you can see how watery it gets. We're going to just pull some paint into that. And just mix it up a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to, to make it a little bit more liquidy, which will help us spread it. So I'm just going to do nice, even strokes now. I have to pick up more paint than that. Notice too that I have paper down underneath my um, my canvas because you know, like I said, this stuff. I mean, look, I'm already getting paint on it, and you know, I like my desk. And acrylic paint, once it's dry, is permanent. So, you know, protect your stuff. It's kind of like wearing an apron important. So we're just painting. This is going to be our background. Now I noticed that what's happening is I'm getting, I'm starting to dry brush a little bit, which means that it's not completely covering. So what, what you do is you get a little bit more water. I tap it and then you mix some more paint in there. Now we may end up doing two coats for this because it's not looking terribly thick. Let's see, we want to do a third. So if we do one, two, third is about there. It's not really a very good straight line. The key to a straight line is to move your entire arm or hand. Like see how I didn't move my wrist. I moved the entire thing. That is key. That is key, darling. That's how you get the straight lines. So I'm mixing a little bit more water in here. And that will give me a nice liquidy flow. Liquidy flow. This is a very red, red brown. Um, it's not as red brown as burnt sienna. So burnt umber is a little bit more of an orangish, um, yellowish brown probably, but it does have red in it. So it ends up giving like that cognac um, leather kind of look, you know, when you, when you buy leather that's been, that has that name cognac. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and, um, leave that for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brush cause we're going to let that dry. All right, so rinsing your brush is the same way as you do before. You just pretend like you're washing, uh, that you're painting the bottom of your cup. 
Okay. Now we're going to do a little mixing. So we're going to get the bottom color. We're going to make warm this up a little bit. So I'm going to put some more brown here. I'm not using this brown because we're going to come back and do a second coat here in a little bit so that it's nice and dark. All right, we're going to put a little bit of our red and yellow. Not much. What I would call a drop, which is a pea-sized amount. So one drop is a pea-sized amount. Two drops would be two peas. So one pea each here, one drop. Let's mix in to about two drops of um, burnt umber. And we're going to see what color we get here. If it's too light, then we'll just add a little bit more umber. What we're going for here is a warm a very warm brown. That's a pretty good brown. But it might be a little more orange than I like, so I am going to add just a tiny bit more of the burnt umber, which is fine because we're covering a pretty large space. So it's no problemo. So I'm just going to put two more drops. Come on. Uh, let go. Sometimes you got to make it happen. Okay. So we'll mix that brown in. Now, I have an extra uh, tool here, a mixing medium. Let me show you in just a minute what that is, which helps me keep my stuff liquidy so I don't have to add water. And it also keeps things from drying. Yeah, that's a better brown. It's more of a chocolatey kind of brown. Hey, Laura DuPont Health, welcome. Yes, I did. I did a stream last night um, based on a suggestion by my amazing nephew. He said that, um, especially now that people are home and things like that, that maybe doing streams on Saturdays was um, a, a better idea than doing streams on uh, Tuesdays. He said more people probably could watch and it'd make it more accessible. So I decided to give it a try. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing Friday and Saturday streams. Um, see how it goes, you know? We'll see. My nephew's a pretty smart kid. So I'm sure it's a good idea. Plus, you know, his generation is kind of the generation. It's kind of my target audience, really. So uh, you don't know about him being a smart kid or you don't know about him being correct on this. <laughs> For my viewing audience, she's allowed to say it because this is his mom. <laughs> Tuesday people are looking for things to do now. Well, that's true. Um, I mean, we'll just see. I'm just trying it out and seeing. I mean, for me, doing a stream in the middle of the week was a little bit difficult anyway because it took away from schoolwork and things like that. So, you know, yeah, this takes my Saturday away, but where am I going to go, you know? I mean, people are still working from home on um, Tuesdays, you know, a lot. Not everybody, but a lot of people. You know, and maybe, maybe during this time, ah, Nopester, yes, the one who recommended this, this new schedule. Well, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Um, Tuesdays, I, I might end up doing a, a third stream, you know, and just, just being fun with it since everybody's home. We'll see. Okay, 
So what I was going to show you is this is called Liquitex Matte Medium and you can mix it. I'm not going to use it just this uh, time, but matte medium is a way to kind of water down your, uh, or liquefy rather your paints without actually watering it down with water because water makes it thinner. This won't make it thinner. It's the same consistency as the paint, but uh, so like it's still thick, but it's just more liquidy. So um, I'm not going to actually add any of that today, but I wanted to show you because that's an option. So uh, it doesn't hurt to test out the weekends. Yeah, that's what, you know, I like to experiment. So we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to get a little water on my brush because it's been sitting there for a while. And then I'm just going to, and then I'm going to pick up some of this paint just like we did our brown, uh, our dark brown rather. I guess they're both brown, huh? Yeah, so see how this is much warmer, and we're going to be darkening this up a little bit too uh, when we do a second coat. So right now we're just laying the base. All right, we're going to go straight line it across. And remember I said straight line. Actually, I need more water for this. Straight line, you move your whole hand, whole hand. And I'm starting to dry brush, which isn't cool. See how that's what dry brush is, is when um, the, the paint stops covering. So I hope everybody's staying safe during these tough times, you know? I mean, it's hard to be cooped up. I've heard there are some, some areas of Europe that are fining people pretty heavily for going outdoors, um, unless they're going to the grocery store or um, it says by themselves, which makes me think maybe, maybe it's okay to walk your pets, but you can't walk outside by yourself, but you know, I get it. I get that, but I, I, I don't know how I feel about, um, you know, finding people for going outside, you know, I don't know because, you know, to, to one extent there's, it's like a public health thing, right? And that is kind of the, the government's job. You know, I'm not going to get too political, but you know, public health is a big thing, but you know, I feel like it can get carried too far. So I guess we'll just see how this goes. I'm rather glad that my, my state is not doing such a thing. I'm not even entirely sure if we've been declared stay in shelter. Maybe. Eh, we'll, we'll find out. All right, so all we're doing right now, if you're just joining the stream, we haven't gone very far. Florida has a stay home order. Oh, only essential places open. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, I did not know. I'm not really going anywhere anyway, but, you know, if I was, it's good to know the rules. Uh, so where I am, I did pure burnt umber. This is burnt umber. So the brown, pure brown at the top. I mixed in a little tiny bit of red and orange to the brown, and that's what's going on here at the bottom. So just to get everybody up to speed if you're just joining. So we, we just haven't gone very far. I'm taking today's stream is going to be very relaxed. Uh, I just had a stream yesterday, and... Um, I may have overplanned it and it didn't, it didn't go as well as I would have liked it. I think it was fine, but you know, it's good to evaluate, to self evaluate and see I'm getting some more water here and to see, you know, how you're doing. And I, I think that maybe I tried to do too much in yesterday's stream and got a little exuberant about the Rubik's cube. Um, uh, 
demonstration. So, so today we're just going to take it easy. Hi, Trudy Ann. Welcome. Man, let's have the whole family on today. It's a family stream today, y'all. But isn't, how great is that? How great that I have such an amazing supportive family that they come on and they, they watch my stream. It's pretty cool. I'm a very fortunate person. That's for sure. So get a little bit extra water here. Speaking of fortune, oh, you're not claiming relation? Okay, well, you don't have to. I did say you were my nephew's mother, though, so I feel like, I mean, I guess it could be by marriage. <laughs> uh, you know, I've, I've been thinking a lot lately about the concept of luck. And, like, you know, how much of stuff really is luck? I don't, I don't know if I believe in that. I think, like, you know, we do our, we kind of make our own luck, so to speak. Schoolwork. Okay, well, it's okay. Um, actually, I'm fine with the support. I think it's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. We're going to do the brown at the top again. It should be pretty dry. And you can tell by looking at it from an angle, um, it should be have no shiny, no shininess left. There are ads now. You've graduated to the big leagues. Oh, I don't have ads turned on. So, hmm. I'll have to figure that out because I don't really want ads playing. Maybe I have to have them playing until like I reach a certain level or something. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm going to turn that off though if I can. Because I don't know what they're adding. <laughs> I don't know what they're marketing there. I don't want to necessarily support something that I, I, I don't want something playing that I don't support. So... We'll see, but thank you, Trudy Ann, for letting me know. I didn't realize that ads were playing at the beginning. Amazon Prime Original. Well, I mean, I, I do support Amazon, so I guess that's okay. What was the trailer for? Yeah, I know it's just at the beginning, but I, I would prefer that not be the case. I don't want people to have to watch my ads. Uh, I mean, to watch ads to get to my stream. We'll see. We'll see. The Amazon Prime original. Was, was it a specific original or was it uh, just talking about Amazon Prime original series or whatever? called upload. <laughs> well, that could be, that could be accurate. <laughs> I mean, I am uploading my stream here. Maybe it's, uh, who knows? I don't know. All right. So now we've got the brown at the top. Did it look any good? Upload? Like, what did it seem like it was about? Like, maybe... I don't know. Like I'm trying to think what upload could be about. Alright, so I'm getting some more... I'm just going back and forth. This is going to be our last coat. I'm just getting some more of this red-brown. Dystopian type setting where people are living in a digital world. Looked cool, actually. All right. Well, okay. I support that. Thank you, Twitch, Amazon, for putting something cool at the beginning of my stream. And not something that I wouldn't support. <laughs> I should trust Amazon, I suppose. I do love that company. Okay. All right. So let's... I need to get this line straight again. So I'm trying to water down so that I can get a ni nice clean line. And I'm just going to go whoop straight across. 
and turn it and continue on. All right, there we go. This is important because this is our tabletop in the background. So I don't want, uh, I don't want it to be too much of like a crooked line because I mean, it can be like a, a little off. It's, it's not entirely, it doesn't have to be super straight, but you know, we want it to look relatively straight because otherwise it's going to distract from what's in the foreground, which is our teacup. All right, we are probably gonna have to do a little hair drying today, a little blow dry for the paint because, oops, that's popping through. Because um, we've got a lot of paint on here and I really need it to be dry before we move on to the next spot, so. Actually, I'm pretty excited. I need to, I need to like formalize it in writing and stuff and, and get everything down. But I've picked my research topic because uh, I'm getting my master's degree in instructional uh, technology, which is basically like, we're like the backstage crew for education like we make all the stuff happen you know all the special effects all the um tools that are used we design those the props the you know we actually even write the play how about that we do it all so um i've decided for my research that i would like to design an online program that mirrors it's not going to be Montessori but it mirrors the effects of Montessori and it, it mirrors the premises behind that so if you're not sure what Montessori is um, there's an Italian uh, physician named Maria Montessori in uh, the early 1900s sometime I don't know her, the exact time but she discovered that there were children I mean it was kind of known so it wasn't that she discovered it per se but she, you know, she saw that there were children that were not getting, um, education at all. It wasn't that they weren't getting proper education. They literally weren't getting education. They were getting stuck in basements and, and saying, you know, so sorry, hang out here while the regular kids go to school. What was different about these kids? Well, some of them had different kinds of disorders, learning disabilities or, um, down syndrome or, you know, maybe even they were just a, a little slower and, they were considered unteachable. And um, Maria Montessori said, nope, that's not okay. So uh, I'm gonna go get my hair dryer. So she said, um, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna design a program. I guess I'll dry this back here. She said, I'm gonna design a program that uh, allows all kids to access education. So she came up with the Montessori program. So let me dry this real quick and I'll tell you more about it after that. Here I am in case you're wondering. <laughs> I'm done. 
Now this is dry and you can see the brush strokes in it. I think that's okay. I think it, it, uh, it, I think we're okay with that. I'm not going to try to cover that up. All right. So we're going to start with the plate. So we'll start that and then I'll finish telling you a little bit about Montessori, which is a pretty amazing method for educational design. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're going to make a small amount of a gray color by adding phthalo blue and titanium white to some burnt umber. So let's get, uh, well, we already have a little bit of burnt umber there. So I'm going to, it said uh, phthalo blue and titanium white. Yes. Okay. Um, I just want a little bit of this. I don't want much. So what I'm going to do, this is like half a drop. You just use your uh, palette knife to get the paint off instead of trying to get it to go into the um, into the well because it, ta it requires a certain amount of gravity or, well, I guess mass is what I'm trying to say. And that tiny amount doesn't have enough mass to drop from the um, tube. So you have to actually scoop it off. Okay. So we're going to mix this with our brown here. We're going to make a gray. So yeah, so something about Montessori that I think is pretty interesting. We might need more brown here is um, it incorporates something that's actually a relatively new, um, that's not brown, a relatively new concept is called universal design for learning. And um, universal design means that everyone should be able to benefit from it. That, that the design is such that anyone taking that course or um, in that classroom or what have you should be able to learn. Now there's obviously going to be some barriers such as language. You know sometimes someone can't access a class because of the language. Um, so that's when you have to adapt when you take the classroom and make it um, you know adapt it for a new language something like that. Um, Well, I don't know how gray this really is. I don't know. I'm going to add a little bit more white. White tends to tone things down a little bit. Oops. And that can happen sometimes. And we don't want that. So I should have just cleaned it first. So there, all I did was just wipe it off. All right. So if you consider universal design for learning, this means that we want something to be accessible. So let's say someone uh, does not have hearing or, or is hard of hearing, then they may need some type of accessibility tools like, uh, you know, a transcript for a video. Okay, so this is like the gray that I've made. It's kind of a greenish gray. I'm going to clean my... Okay, clean my palette knife there. And we're, we're going to go ahead and take our small brush. We'll get it wet. Remember, this is the first time we're using this one, so we've got to get some of the bubbles out, so I'm just pressing it down against the bottom of the cup and then getting some extra water off. I'm going to pick up my color at the edge, just like I did with the brown. And we are going to do a saucer shape. Now, let's determine about where we want this to go. So we want there and maybe there. And then we're going to round it to 
here. And here. All right. So that's where I, my saucer is going to be. All right. So keeping this stuff in mind, how did Maria Montessori do this? Well, what she did is she designed a classroom that is based on the child learning at their own pace. So instead of the teacher standing up in the front of the classroom and teaching all the time, there's a lot of playtime. There's a lot of um, discovery you know, where kids are, are you know, either playing with toys or, or doing things where they can discover new ideas on their own. And when they're ready, the teacher watches. And when they're ready, meaning that the teacher observes that the child is starting to try to learn a new concept on their own, then the teacher can step in and help them develop that concept. Also, there's, um, Montessori doesn't have exactly um, age grading, like a lot of schools, most schools, you know, you're about the same age as everyone and you're all in one grade. Um, this groups people together so that you're learning from the older students. So like the older students are teaching the younger students, which helps solidify uh, the knowledge for them. The younger students are learning from the older students, which is, um, you know, and the older students also model behavior, which means that they're learning um, from their peers, which gets the information in a little bit different way, like they accept it in a little bit different way. Now, it's not that the teacher's not ever teaching or anything like that. In fact, she is. But when the kids work together, especially like on projects and things like that, it's just more well-rounded and beneficial. Well, when you get a situation like that, all of a sudden this opens up opportunities for children that maybe didn't have opportunities before because um, they're now learning at their own pace in their own way. So, you know, if they did have, say, like a, a hearing, um, a lack of hearing, then, uh, you know, they don't necessarily need to hear anything at that particular moment because they're learning on their own, you know. Anyway, there's a lot of other concepts that go along with it that are equally as brilliant um, and I'm going to try to incorporate, that's what my research is going to be about. I'm going to try to incorporate that into an effective online environment. The effective is the key because, I mean, I could put Montessori online. That doesn't mean it's going to work. You know, it, it's got to be a design that will actually work. And I think that especially because of right now with everybody, all the kids having to go online for school and things like that, I think that this is important and necessary right now just so you know I'm, I'm sitting here while we're talking and I'm doing this saucer shape I'm trying to pick up a little bit more water as I go anyway I'm pretty excited about this idea uh, I've been trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do research on and I knew that I wanted to do something having to do with universal design, but I also wanted to do online. And the thing is, is that universal design is new, but it has been done and teachers have our, you know, research has already been done on this. So I wouldn't really be researching anything new if I just studied universal design for learning. So, um, but I think that this, you know, and I, I want to innovate my joy in life is coming up with new ideas that can help the planet. You know, that's what I want to do. I want to help humans. I want to help the planet. I just, I want to make this place better. I mean, I guess it's my version of better, so I don't know. Is that better? Who knows? But I want to try. So, yep, pretty excited. You know, so coming soon to a theater near you. Because hopefully I would like to use online streaming as a as a tool for this. You know, 
Um, which of what I'm doing now is is just rounding in a little bit because we're going to make our two outside areas a little bit wider than the the edges. Um, but yeah, I, I really want streaming to be a part of this, and I've had a lot of positive. Um, positive feedback on the effectiveness of my stream and you know the the kind of um, the kind of education students today are looking for like I said I think with this whole virus thing this is going to become even more relevant so all right Uh, let's see. I want to come in. A little bit more on the sides because we're going to have a little rim there. So has anybody been doing anything fun while they're cooped up inside? I know a couple of my buddies, like one of them said he hadn't been out of the house in a week. Whew. I don't know if I could do that. It's hard. I at least went outside and, and took a little jog. So I, I can't, I can't be cooped up for that long. So... Ah, cool. Oh, the garden. That's right. Oh, that's very exciting because, you know, that's that's like not only something fun to do, but it's life affirming too, right? You know, I mean, making a garden, planting a garden, and that's a fun family activity. Very cool. Well, good. There should be, there should be a, um, a list somewhere of, you know, things you can do at home. I mean, I bet there is, but things you can do at home during quarantine, you know, think fun things you can do with your kids. Uh, and there are sites like this. It's called homeschool sites. So if any of you are parents and wanting to look for fun things to do with your kids, check out homeschool sites, man. Those people know how to live because you think about it. You've got your kid all the time at home, so they've got to have some pretty good uh, activities. I will tell you, just in case this really is the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> that is another good reason to have a garden, is, is just in case this is a zombie apocalypse, you will need food. So that's key. Uh, good luck to you. I hope it grows in time. Um, I hope you grow enough for four people, because I'll be visiting. Um, okay, so we're going to let this dry. Oh, there's a little, little situation down at the bottom. I forgot about that. We've got like a little area down here because this plate is sitting up. So right here. Oh yeah, I guess five. <laughs> I should be, you know, charitable, I suppose, towards my mother. Mom, you can come too. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Um... Uh, All right. There is a site that I used for when I used to teach my slime classes. Um, there was a website, uh, and I'm trying to remember what it was called right off the top of my head. It was such a good site. So I'll see if I can remember it while we're while we're working. It was a really cute name too. 
but it was a homeschool mom. And she did like a lot of really fun activities with her kids. Oops. All right. Well, yeah. This is going to be in the dark, so I'm not too worried about this side. I do, however, want to clean up this side. So if you accidentally put lines that you don't want, here's what you do. You paint it with pure water and then keep wiping the paint off your brush. from now on I'm gonna take the this easy approach to my classes I think um because I like this laid back a little bit more I feel a little more Bob Ross today than I did yesterday trying to get a bunch of stuff to happen you know not forcing it that's key woo way woo way what does woo way mean Sarah I bet you're asking Wu Wei is a Taoist principle, means do nothing. And the idea is it's not that you don't take any action in your life, but just don't force things, you know, it'll happen. Whatever, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. So, oh, you weren't asking. Well, for everybody else, because Laura DuPont Health apparently is the only person on the stream. The only person that matters, I suppose, huh? Like, screw everybody else. <laughs> you don't need to know what Wu Wei is. Oh, that is true. She is the one with the garden. All right, I got to be nice. <laughs> She's supplying the food in the, during the apocalypse. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, so we've got our um, plate down. And I need to let it... Well, Trudy Ann, you're no longer invited to the apocalypse party that's happening at Laura DuPont Health's house. So take that. Just kidding. You can come. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of white and I'm going to actually double that and I'm going to mix this into this color man you guys are just like mean today bouncing those balls I read a cool article this morning that a friend of mine shared about uh, it, it was a, a I don't know actually if it was an article or if it was like a Quora or something, but anyway, I don't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, it was a, a girl had written about how she noticed that guys like make fun of each other and are constantly like, giving each other a hard time and, and, you know, saying things that might normally sting and, uh, but that they were just like laughing it off. And, um, she, use the reference bouncing a ball like that, that that guys build these walls so that they can get past things and not have to talk too much about their feelings and so you know I don't know how accurate this is or not but I like that idea of the bouncing ball like um, the what you're doing is you're bouncing a ball off the wall as kind of like a not a test necessarily but like you know you're just saying hey you know, uh, like, like, let's say a guy 
throws a basketball and, and misses. He's playing with his buddies and he misses. And um, the guys rag him and give him a hard time. They're just bouncing balls at him. They're just bouncing little balls at his wall and just saying, oh, man, you missed that. You know, like, glad he's not on my team. You know, things like that. Which sounds like something that might hurt, but because it bounces off the wall, because it's your buddies, right? So you don't, you don't say this to someone you don't know because you don't know about their wall. Um, but when you know someone, you can, like, b- lob little little tennis balls off their wall and, and give them a hard time. So apparently... This is what Laura DuPont Health is doing with me today. Been hiding feelings with mean humor for years. It's true. She's excellent at it. The best. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So here's what we're going to do. We are going to create uh, some lighter color here. So I, I lighten this up with like a little bit of white and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to paint this area. And I'm doing like this little crescent shape because this is going to be like the, the part of the, um, Oh, what are these things called? It's like a saucer, but it's called something else. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. And then we're going to get some water down. So what I did is I got a little bit of paint and got a little bit of water. And I'm just going to come in this area. Anyway, I thought that was an interesting concept, you know, that we, you know, when you know someone and love someone, you you tend to joke around with them more. You're lobbing little balls off of their wall. Like I said, I don't know how accurate it is, but it might be. And it's, it's fun to think about. I rinsed my brush off and dried it because I realized that I wanted to paint a little bit more over here anyway the reason that my buddy shared the article with me is because I was giving him a really hard time and and I said you know if I don't like you very much I won't give you a hard time I I only give people a hard time if if I like them and I think they're cool because I know that they can handle it and you know it's it's um it's saying I trust you right? Like I trust that you won't get offended by what I'm saying because you know me and I know you. Anyway. It's kind of, kind of interesting to think about. All right. So we've got that side. Now we're going to take some burnt umber just pure burnt umber. I'm just going to put it straight in this brown because this brown's already dry. And we are going to do shading on this side because even though this isn't technically a cylinder, it is a still a cylindrical shape. So I'm just watering down a little bit of brown here. So we've got our highlight on this side because our light source is coming from over here. Remember yesterday, our my last night's stream, we talked about the light source. So the light source is here, which means on this side, we're going to have shadow right up to the rim. And we're going to be able to see the highlight on this side. So let's get this in here. So we're doing basically the same thing we did over here.
and I have this one song in my head. I cannot even remember the name of the song, but it's um, by this group called Mammal Hands. It's kind of a jazzy something or other, but it's a really good song, and I've got it stuck in my head. I just keep mixing a little bit more water because it, it just helps the brown especially because for whatever reason the burnt umber is just not a um, it's not a very let's see that was a little bit too much water a friendly mixing color for some reason it's it's very thick meaning it needs to be watered down a little bit So we're laying in, right now what we're doing is we're laying in our shadows and our highlights. All right, we also want, uh, we're gonna water down a little bit more of this burnt umber. And I mean really water it down because I need it to be kind of light. Um, and we're going to just wash here. And what that, the reason that is because this is tilted up slightly. And then this is on the other side of the cup. This is going to help us get like kind of a um, like a mirror type look later. All right. So I'm just going to take some pure water and just kind of. Move that around. Because I do want it to dry, but I don't want it to dry too dark. I can't even play the song for you guys because last time I tried to play any kind of music, it got muted. I got muted. And I don't want to be muted, so. Because then the people that go back to watch this won't be able to see it. There we go. Hmm. And the the uh, tired is finally finally kicking in a little bit. That's what I meant by that. Okay. So let's take a look. They have this looking much darker. Hmm. Okay. This says we want to increase the highlight 
right here in the edge. Okay. So I'm going to pick up a little bit. I need a little water. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this color. Just get most of it off so that you have like a nice point. And then we're going to come around. It's a very thin line. And it's going to come out here. This is our highlight. So we're building up our highlights and shadows here. And it's going to go around to the outside here. And meet where I ended with that shadow. We're going to have a little bit of, let's see, we're going to have highlight that goes around the rim. I'm going to get my brush wet again. the rim and we're going to do a little bit of the reflected light remember how I was telling you there's shadow you've got reflected light Get a little bit of that reflected light down at the bottom. There we go. So we need to make It wants us to mix in even a little bit more white. So I'm going to get some white here. Um, this time I'm going to actually put the white next to I'm going to just pick up color there. I'm going to put it next to it rather than mixing in the whole thing because I need to keep this tone. that up. Get a little bit of that light color. And we're going to come in right here.
Okay. Put that lighter on that side. And then I kind of want to darken this up too. Let's see. Let's mix a new color. I'm going to mix a new color. I'm going to take a little bit of my, I'm going to actually just use my burnt umber here. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the blue. Now blue mixes a long way, like it goes a long way, but I don't know, I might not have put very much. Well, looks like maybe I did, I'm telling you, blue, blue goes very far. So you don't need much of it. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white to this and this should give us a dark gray. I don't want to add too much white. That's probably too much. Uh, so what we're going to do is put that over there. And I'll just get half of that. There we go. That is a nice dark gray. I know it's got that brown around it, makes it hard to, harder to see. All right. That is the color I really want for these areas here. Get a little water on our brush and we'll go ahead and get some of that dark gray. We can paint right in those areas. Yeah, that's very nice. That is perhaps the color I was going for. Exactly. Getting this dark color in here. Taking the place of that brown that we did earlier. done here.
All right, and let's get a little bit down here too. This is gonna be pretty dark. There's like a dark line underneath that shows the edge of our our uh, saucer. Saucer? Is that the right word here? I feel like it is. Charger is what I was trying to think of earlier. You know, you've got, this is like kind of a charger. Like those big plates that you put other plates on top of. Ooh, I might have to do a little stretch. I wasn't going to do stretches today, but I'm, I'm feeling very stiff. Not getting any sleep. That's what's happening. Okay. Let's see. Let's get, uh, excuse me. <laughs> As if to emphasize my tiredness. Let me yawn at you. All right. I'm getting some of this darkness here. All right, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take, I've got, I can, I'm can. i gonna dry brush over here just a little bit of the darkness. The darkness. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm picking up just a tiny bit of the um, the light color because I want to blend these. So I'm picking up a little darkness now and I'm going to blend it. So I'm picking up a little bit of the lighter paint and actually I probably picked up a little bit too much. So um, and then I'm picking up some of the darker and I'm going to blend it right there. That way it gives it a little bit of a balance of color. So it's not too stark against light. pick up some of my light color here right down the middle there so it might not be looking super reflective yet but this is going to look reflective Okay. Now, this paper towel is done. I mean, look at my hand, right? I don't know guys, if you guys noticed, but my, my nail polish has changed color from the beginning of the stream. I've got, it's hyper color, so it's blue. Let me see if I can... There we go. Let's put it in some cold, oh, no, hold on, some cold water. 
Man, it's like changing color fast. You can't keep it cold. Okay. <laughs> there. See? Blue. But see, like, it's already changed into green. It's cause my na because my hands are really warm. Isn't that cool? Or warm, in, as the case may be. All right. Okay, we are going to paint a shadow on the table. And after I just stuck my finger in my water, I'm going to paint it. But it, it didn't have any paint on it. And my hands were clean before, so. I'm sure I'll survive. There are worse things right now. Okay. Uh, paint the shadow on the table. It doesn't say what color the shadow should be. So let's do this. I want it to be this color, but darker, which is pretty much the brown, right? I mean, that's what we, so I'm going to get a new pot here of just a little bit of brown. I keep putting brown down. Get some water. And I'm just going to do straight, straight burnt umber. So our light source is coming from here. So what's going to happen is it's going to come out right here. meet that there so it's like the shape of the so we just need to mostly get this shape down first Just painting in the dark brown here. This is going to be our shadow on the table. This actually helps tie in the color of the wall too. So for composition purposes, it's pretty good. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to come around to the front because we want to show that our charger or plate or whatever this is comes forward. Now, we need to blend our edges a little bit though because we don't want our shadow to be too stark against the table. This isn't a terribly high contrast light. So what we're going to do, we're going to wet our brush. Uh, I need to get a new paper towel here. Okay. Wet our brush just a little bit. And we're going to come in around the edges. Just kind of wet the edges. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown and come in and paint the edges. And what will happen, right where I wet it, what will happen is it's going to be much lighter there. So it will end up blending a little bit. And it will look softer when it dries. All right. 
Let's see, what am I missing? I do want to tone this down a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to get a little bit of water, pick up some of my dark color, my dark gray here. And I'm just going to paint over that and that will tone it down. might not be as toned down as I want, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, I'm going to tone down this area too. I don't, I don't know about this toned down color. Maybe, maybe I want to just mix the two colors. So what I did was I mixed a little bit of my light color. I really just needed my medium color again, but I had mixed it, so I lost it. I lost it. There she is. That is good. All right. Um, oh, I do need a little bit of my dark color to come right around. The base here. So what I'm doing, I just put a little water on my brush and I'm just going in and kind of making that a little bit choppy. So, oop. So it doesn't look so, quite so stark of a line. it up a little bit. Sister, have you guys been playing more Catan since you're in quarantine? Catan is a game that we really like in our family. So if you haven't played Settlers of Catan before, I'm going to go ahead and endorse it. I think it's a fantastic game so I don't endorse that many things but I would endorse that game it's pretty fun yeah of course I knew it it's awesome hopefully you're winning <laughs> but don't win too much because then when I play you you'll just beat me well that's what happens anyway so I guess it wouldn't be any different carry on carry on winning Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, I don't really have that many negative things to say about it. It can take a little while sometimes. I mean, it's Monopoly-esque in that way, but it doesn't take as long as Monopoly. Like, Monopoly can take days sometimes. Uh, or even like six or seven hours or something. Catan never takes that long. As in my, I mean, I'm sure if you had a whole lot of players and stuff, maybe. But I feel like, um... On average, it's, you know, an hour or two for a really good game where everybody's kind of equal footing. I mean, sometimes you have one person who ends up dominating right away because just the way the, the dice are rolled. But um, anyway, so there's, it is a little bit of a luck game, but it's good. It's fun. Okay, so mix together a pale yellow... Let's make a pale yellow. So um, we're going to do 
This is going to be for our coffee cup. So we're going to do a little yellow. Boop. A little brown. Boop. So same amount of yellow and brown. And then we're going to put a decent amount of white here. Found a one plus player version of the game. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's fantastic. You can play by yourself. I don't, that would be pretty good to like practice and stuff. But I mean, I guess you can kind of practice on the Settlers of Catan online, I suppose. But that's more phone games. And I'm trying to get away from phone games, honestly. Um, you know, making games a separate thing from my, my, you know, me telephono. All right, so what we're making is like kind of a creamy color. Maybe lighter than bone. That's not too bad. I probably could use some more white, but I think that's not too bad. Man, a one plus player version of the game. You'll have to teach me that so I can play by myself. Oh, okay, well, when you learn, you'll have to teach me. This is fine. I'm going to get, just use this color. I'm not going to be too picky about the color of the, the china here. All right. So remember I was talking about our... Um, the shape. So four coffee cups, we're going to do a circle, but it's like an, uh, an oval circle. Now this particular coffee cup gets wider at the top. So we're going to have, let's see, let's mark here and here. Let's see, do I want to make that taller? Yeah, let's make that a little taller. Here and here. All right, so what I'm going to do is do my similar circle to the bottom. And then we're going to connect these two. Now, it's going to curve, so it's not like our rectangle that we did yesterday. good. Hmm. We're just going to go ahead and fill this in. So I'm going to get, oops, not that. I don't want a big old droplet. Get some water, mix it in, and then come in and uh, paint. Now, because everything underneath should be dry, 
We shouldn't have to worry about pulling up any of our color. If it's not dry, you need to dry it. not really happy with this side over here. I'm trying to determine. I think let's elongate our oval a little bit. That's looking pretty much like the picture. I'm, I'm looking at the reference photo, and I know that it didn't download very well for you guys today, but, um, well, it didn't download at all, so it's not like it didn't download well. It, it did not download. I don't know if the picture, it might be too big for Discord or something. I don't know why it's not. So all I'm doing right here is just trying to even up my sides. Hmm, excuse me. My nose is itchy. Okay. So let's get... I'm going to come straight across. I'm just going to leave some dark in here because that's going to be dark anyway. So there's no sense in doing multiple layers. So I'm leaving the dark. Leaving the dark. And since we already have it there, might as well. If for some reason you didn't do yours high enough to where it's got that dark in there, that's okay. You can do dark later. All right. Cleaning my brush. Excuse me. <laughs> Didn't catch me any on. All right. So I found out yesterday I mentioned on the stream that a friend of mine is having his senior uh, performance. And he's a musician. And I, I thought it was in person or something. It's not. <laughs> it's tonight. On It's a Zoom so he's going to be doing his performance on Zoom. Um, I don't know what instrument he's going to be using. Maybe piano. I'm not sure. Um, but he goes to UNC Greensboro and um, is doing music composition. So he's learning to write music, which is pretty cool. And I really want to get into writing music at some point. My nephew is a really good writer of music. And um, I think that it would be good for me to get into it too. So like we could maybe work together or something. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We want to, we're going to take a little bit of our burnt umber. Well, well, let's see. I already, I think this probably is already dry. So I'm going to Get some more of this light color on here because we're going to be doing some blending. Let's 
So let's get a little bit of the dark brown there. This is the burnt umber, just pure burnt umber. And I'm going to come in and just blend it. That might be a little too light, so I'm going to probably mix some more. But you can see where it's going. Like that, that we're going to have, because remember, our light source is coming from this way, so like we learned last night, you're going to have dark right up against the rim on this side. Last night's stream wasn't totally useless. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible. I just probably tried to fit too much into into the stream. That's okay. It happens. I couldn't have not done it. Tis my nature. Okay. Let's do... I'm going to water down a little bit of this. So I put a little bit of paint down and I'm just going to and that will give like kind of a milky looking surface. Now that's going to dry and who knows how it's going to dry because I've added quite a bit of water. So we'll see. I think I want even more brown on the inside of this. I think this is like not dark enough. It's blending too much. Oops. There we go. Welcome to anyone just joining the stream. We're doing a teacup and a rose. So right now we're, we're working on the teacup. We've got our our plate down, which we're going to be making look more reflective than it does right this moment. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my light color. Eh, it's all right. It's all right. You know, there's something about somebody saying you can't go outside that makes you really want to go outside. <laughs> like, no. Okay. So now we got to do something out here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and we're just going to paint pure brown out here. Oops. I got a little bit too much. And we're going to blend the color. Now, we want it to show that it's curved a little bit. So we're just going to kind of round that out there. Maybe I should add a little bit of water because it's, it's like not flowing at all. There we go. Look at that. Look at the difference. Okay. So I don't want to get too far over. Oh, I can go outside. I'm just supposed to stay home. Well, okay. But even staying home, like just being told that you can't, you're not supposed to do something. I mean, I guess I can go to the grocery store if I have to. I don't like having to fake a grocery store trip though, just to get out. 
So I'd have to come up with something real that I actually needed. Hmm. But I just made a Costco trip not that long ago, so I really don't need that much stuff. Costco pretty much covers you for the entire zombie apocalypse. They're like, You need four pounds of Jelly Bellies? Here you go. I did get four pounds of Jelly Bellies. I, I decided I wanted something because every once in a while I need like a little sweet taste, you know, so I got the Jelly Bellies because I feel like those are, I mean, I can eat like three or four of them and be fine. Like I don't need anything more than that. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm coming in with my lighter color and just blending right on the line. I don't know what I'm whistling. Still that song. It's the song that I have in my head. I'm going to have to find the name of that song. I feel like it's something like feel feeling good or something like that. Anyway. I did remember the name of the website I was telling you about earlier. The cool homeschool mom of things to do. It's called Little Bins for Little Hands. Little B-I-N-S. Little Bins for little hands, F O R. And, um, she is awesome. She has a bunch of different slime recipes, which are always fun. I don't know if slime's in fashion anymore though. I don't, I don't know if the kids are making the slime these days, but, um, but she has a lot of other cool like STEM projects. Um, so I, I just highly recommend it. I used to tell all my parents, my, for my art class, I'd tell all the parents to go there cause you know, it's clear that she's a teacher besides even being a homeschool teacher. I think she was also uh, like a public school teacher before. And you can tell like the way she does the lessons and stuff. And she does a lot of experimenting so that you don't have to. So she experiments and finds out what works and what doesn't work. And then, you know, you're free to just do the one that works. She'll tell you, she'll still tell you about the one that didn't work just in case you want to try for yourself. Or so that you know what it was that she did try. So you're not wondering, hmm, I wonder if I tried this. She can say, nope. <laughs> nope. Don't do it. Okay. I'm just getting a little bit of this light down here at the bottom. And clearly, I'm just like taking out my coffee cup here. Let's see. I'm taking you out, son. That sounded really weird. I won't do it again. Hey. Oh, is it? Oh, man. I, so I restarted last night. I decided I was, I was kind of in a, a sour mood a little bit. So I restarted the entire game. So I am, I'm through the first part. Um, and I skipped the tree house. I skipped half of the shadow trees. Like the, the, if, if anybody's wondering what we're talking about, <laughs> this amazing game that I will 100% tout is the witness. I love it. It's my favorite game. And by the way, welcome, Baseline. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm on the monastery right now. Like, I've made my way back around. I played for a while last night. Hence the no sleep. No sleep till. Brooklyn. I thought maybe somebody might add that, but they didn't. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. All right. This is like more, more than I want. So how am I going to fix this? 
let's um let's get some white over here on this side because we're gonna have our reflective light still should be pretty dark though so I don't know how much lighter I want to go so I'm coming in with a clean brush and just brushing along the edges and that's gonna help blend everything oh you were doing the sound effects oh for for no sleep till Brooklyn yeah dun it dun 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 no sleep till Brooklyn da, da. it's a good song I also can't play that because I'm pretty sure that it would mute <laughs> that's okay that's okay you guys can can imagine my lovely Beastie Boys uh, rendition. You can imagine how the real song sounds from my my lovely pipes. So you said the treehouse is just like mist, huh? I really need to I really need to finish mist. I I started it. And just did not, just didn't get a chance to finish it. Okay, so what I'm doing is blending directly on the canvas, which we all know has worked so well for me in the past. I'm kidding. I'm referring to the, uh, that was irony. I'm referring to the girl with the pearl earring where I tried mixing on the canvas. And sadly, this is also a lesson plan that is new for me. So maybe, maybe I should question that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be mixing. It has a treehouse zone. All right, cool. Well, maybe that was an inspiration. I bet it was. I bet it was. John seems like the kind of guy that would take inspiration from games maybe he played and liked. I'm assuming he liked Mist. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, I haven't played that much into it, but it, it seems like a pretty awesome game. And I think it was pretty revolutionary for the time because it came out in what, like 95 or something? I think. I think it came out around that time. Yeah, this is looking much better. And look, I'm I'm casting casting uh, water on my the first game to use the CD-ROM best-selling game with The Sims came out. Oh, until The Sims came out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that it would make sense, man. I mean, it's like. I mean, I remember at that time there were a lot of like kind of choose your own adventure type things and, and like that's like the ultimate, right? You know, actually being in the adventure is different. I don't know. Um, that was a special time for computers, you know? It, you can't get that back when everything's new and, and fun and exciting. You know, you just can't. You can't recover something like that. So um, I'm just coming in with the pure white here. And then I'm going to actually mix in a little bit more white. Oh, I have some. Remember, I accidentally. Mm, let's see. I will actually mix a little tiny bit of the brown color in there. It's not a brown color. It's like kind of a yellowish color. But yeah. Man, those were the days with computers. I, I will always wonder sometimes if I had stuck with it and like continued programming and stuff, you know, what would have happened? I don't think I could have though, obviously, because I didn't. <laughs> it, it wasn't in me. It was not in me to be a programmer. 
not professionally. It was in me to be a teacher. All right, so I'm coming around the top of the rim here very carefully. Trying to make this like more liquidy so I can get a really nice and this is gonna be lighter here too. Taking a clean brush since this is already dry here and just blending this. Cleaning off my brush and just blending. Like that. So it doesn't look too too stark. All right. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of this color. So we're doing all this blending. So that it looks like it's curving, right? Oh, uh, baseline, how is the um, cell phone coming? The, or a smartphone, rather. I mean, I guess it is a cell phone, but. Okay. So we are done with this part of the cup. So now you can see how we've got the shading coming this way. We've got the, the darkness on the inside there. My paper towel is demolished, so new one. We haven't even gotten to the rose. I may or may not. We'll see how difficult the rose is because we'll see if I decide to add it. I did put it in the description, but I can change my mind. All right. We need to do something about the, the plate. Um, and also, this is supposed to have little handles. I, I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks now, but we'll probably add the handles. All right. Because it is supposed to be tea. Um... All right. So we're going to do a little bit of our dark gray color. Just we're going to put it right here. I'm just going to dot some of it coming around. I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit of my lighter color.
what we're doing now is we're getting a reflection. If you're waiting on the processor, take a couple of months to get here. Ah, yeah, China. We're working on another project. What else are you working on? All right, so what we're going to do is pick up just a tiny bit of the um, the coffee cup color, just a little bit. And we're going to have just a little bit right here. Not much. I'm going to actually blend it with the color I just put. But this is a reflection because this is a reflective surface. I want to pick up a little bit of white and a little bit of that this lighter color that we made earlier a little bit of white and make an even lighter color and I'm gonna have it come right up to here guy named Ben Eater has a couple projects. Ah, uh, Nake, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Oh, he did, um, uh, in and, uh, what was it called? In and Tetris or in and, in and two Tetris? I don't remember. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I remember what it was, but he did that too, so that's cool. In and two Tetris. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Something like that. I was close. That's pretty cool. Oh, so he's he's still in it. He's still doing it. Cause you finished. I'm going to do a little I'm doing this light color All right, let's see. We've got to do, we're, we need to do the reflection here. Um, so how am I gonna do that? Okay, uh, I think we'll use kind of the same color. Reflection of the cup. We need to cover up this brown here because this brown is not the correct color. What we're doing is getting this to look reflective. And to me, that is more important than the rose. So we may add to this and do the rose another time, but I think I'm going to skip the rose today. I mean, I'll look at the instructions and see like how easy it is, but we'll probably skip it. <laughs> Sarah needs some sleep. I haven't slept yet today, so, you know, I should probably do that. 
That's not entirely true. I did technically fall asleep somewhere in the middle of the night, but I, I, it was probably only about 30 minutes or so. All right. I'm gonna get some of my dark color here and just do some lines. We'll say since this whole coronavirus thing started, my sleep schedule's gotten really off. And I wouldn't even mind the schedule that it's on, except for uh, my body's like resisting, you know, not getting up in the morning. I, I'm too, I can't sleep late. I can't sleep in late. So if I stay up late, I'm just screwed for sleep the next day, you know? Oh, you know, it happens. Okay. So I'm coming in and doing this dark area down here. Oops, I want this dark color. There we go. I think that looks rather reflective. Now, we need to get it, some reflection out in here. So I'm gonna get pick up some more white. Now, this is very light, and so I need it to, because it's reflecting on this kind of a silver surface, it's gonna have a little bit of the color in it. So I'm gonna put some color on it, and now I'm gonna blend it. like really struggling with keeping the paint off of the back there. Probably rushing a little bit, so that's good. I mean, I'm not intentionally rushing. I, I just like have a tendency sometimes to, to do that, so. All right. So I want to blend this edge here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my color there. I didn't finish my sentence. Pick a little bit of my middle gray color there. 
be helpful if I finish sentences, you know. Since you guys aren't adept at reading my mind, I'm assuming. I mean, maybe. I bet my sister could read my mind. She knows me well enough. Alright, so I'm putting a little bit of this color here and I'm putting a little bit of the dark color. And I'm going to blend this because I'm not liking Let's see. Let's do a little bit of this lightest color here. The the new lightest green that I did or, or gray. And we're gonna go right along here. It needs to be a little smoother, so I'm mixing some water in it. Remember, if I want a straight line, I move my whole hand. Of uh, this dark color and just come up here and kind of blend it. looking pretty reflective. I'm liking it. I am liking this. So here's what I think we're going to do. Let's see. I want to blend this a little bit more right here. Just get this light blended. Okay. To do that, I need a little bit of the dark color too. See that blends together to make like that middle middle gray. It also adds some more layers, which is nice. Because it just makes it look more realistic the more layers you've got.
Let's see. What else do I want to do here? Got a little bit of my light color. Uh, sorry, medium, the middle middle color. I'm gonna just come around here. I will probably need some kind of handle. I don't know if I like the handles in the picture. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let us see. Just blending this a little bit more down at the bottom. Do a little bit of this and a little bit of the dark, I can blend it. Okay. This is what I think I'm going to do. I think. I'm going to go ahead and call this. I'm going to learn my lesson and I'm going to continue this stream tomorrow because I do want to do the little, the little rose, but I, I like where this is. I like that, that this is, um, I like how it's looking. It's looking very reflective. So, um, we're going to add the, tomorrow we will do the rose and we will add the little um, handles and I think that's it so this is it has anybody been following along with me I love lolly to the mug yeah I should who's lolly just kidding that's my sister's nickname y'all um, did anybody do the painting with me today Ooh, look at my hands how messy they are. At least I didn't get any on me. Um, did anybody do the painting? I don't think so. Should be mom. I heart mom. <laughs> okay, well, let's just take a look. I couldn't get the, um, let's see. I couldn't get the picture to upload, but let's see what we've got. Yeah, see, this is, this down here is what's supposed to be the picture. This was yesterday's. So nobody's uploaded anything. Oh, I have messages. Well, there you go. So, um, you can see that over here. All right, well... I think that I'm going to go ahead and call it for a day. So what we'll do is I'm going to do the same time tomorrow. I'm going to do 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and we're going to finish up the rest of this painting. And um, we'll, we'll be putting the handles and we'll be adding the little rose to it. So I'm pretty excited. I think we got pretty far today. I think this looks really good um, and very, very reflective, which is nice. Um, and yeah, so thank you everyone for joining my stream today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a fantastic Saturday.